Hi, this is Michael Menduno with Oztech TV, and I'm here with my good friend, Pete Messley. Um, Pete, I know, and who just gave a fabulous presentation. You know, most of us love going on liverboards to exotic locations. You know, you go through your checklist of all the gear, the save a dive kit, etc. But how many people plan to have their liverboard, you know, sink or crash and have to abandon ship? This just recently happened to uh, Pete. So uh, tell us about, was everyone prepared to deal with this? What, what, what went on? Yeah, well, um, it was obviously fun and games. Um, so, um, you know, obviously something that no one ever thinks about. Um, they, they, um, they just think that everything's going to be fine. And um, 2 o'clock, uh, 2 a.m. in the morning um, on uh, the 9th of uh, April, uh, our ship uh, ran aground uh, uh, while steaming at 9 knots. And, um, yeah, we had to abandon ship. And, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was really, really eye-opening. And, um, obviously... Uh, the purpose of my presentation was was to be able to to, to help people prepare for such events. Now, um, obviously, a I had um, a big one. F. <laughs> oh my goodness! Like the, you know, like the, 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 thankfully that doesn't happen every weekend, and um, we can learn a lot from from all of these things. And and having, you know, to prepare yourself for these type of trips. If the big what if happens, then we can we can accomplish um, mm. outcomes and objectives. Having the right equipment, you know, it, and it, it doesn't have to be a sinking ship. If if we surface after a dive and there's no boat there to greet you, and you're drifting around in the ocean currents, and um, and you you basically become um, um, a, a nice little Shark bobbing bait. object, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for large predatory creatures, and and just you know, that's that's kind of what I've been focusing on, and. Um, and, and I personally had a, um, what I call a PLB, which is a personal locator beacon, uh -huh. and yep. it's like an EPIRB. Yep. So, so I activated the EPIRB, and of course my wife got the call, and um, she had a heart attack. No, I'm only joking, <laughs> but, but we, we had things in place where, where what would happen is when the EPIRB was set off, and then people knew exactly where I was, and, um, and we, could, we could create uh, rescue operational um, mm. Uh, functionality and um, the rescue response center could could take action plans to ensuring um, my recovery, or not just me, but obviously the rest of the group. Right. So wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I have not taken an EPIRB on that. I'm going to start thinking about that. Yeah. Next I should board. go into uh, <laughs> shares on those. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. We're here on day two of Oztech. Uh, lots of presentations. Any anything uh, rise to the top for you that got you excited and fascinated? These type of organizations and, and weekends um, have, are, are the highlight of my diving year. Obviously, um, people are talking about diving, not actually going diving, so going diving trumps talking about diving, but, but what a lineup of, mm. of speakers and presentations. And, and this is for anybody who, who is, has lost their mojo and, and they, they, they're getting a little bit bored and all the rest of it, there's nothing better huh. than to yeah. um, sit and immerse yourself around enthusiastic people and, and, uh, and I feed off that. I just, I just love mm -hmm. that. And, mm -hmm. and uh, like, like, I'm sitting in on, on these presentations, it, it, it re-injects me mm -hmm. with the enthusiasm that makes me want to go out. And, and of course, you think you do some pretty big dives and some, some, some pretty cool stuff and then, there's, uh, and then you start listening to guys like Bill Stone, Dr. Bill Stone, like, my goodness, um, the stuff that he's doing is underground is, for 40 oh my days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, listen, I feel like a Mars bar. Can, can someone go and grab me one? It just, it just doesn't work. Like, so, so that is that is super, super inspirational. The exploration that that's been done, both locally in in in, in Australia and mm. internationally. So, so that that's my biggest injection in, in these events and the. The, the uh, stands and all the rest of it is a great time to to network, mm. to to catch up with old mates. Like when was the last time we caught up, man? You know, yeah. it, it just Years. it just yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. and this is this is the you know the no more zooms, no more face. You know, it's just face to face. <laughs> I love that, and I it, love uh, yeah, yeah. I love this. I live for this. So yeah. um, good Me on you, too. mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Pete. Thanks, man. Thank you, everyone. So there are 42 presentations available. On demand, uh, go to oztech.com.au. It's, it's worth it. Yeah, it's, $99 it's worth US, it. $147 yeah. Aussie. I mean, don't worry about my presentation. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> we'll see you there. See you, man.